When I saw 16 Candles, I thought, I'm making a discovery of a director. Don't say anything about this guy, because he's really, he's got the comedy sense. I like it. And uh, then I found out, no, he's already quite gigantic. Your last two pictures, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, and She's Having a Baby, are more adult in theme than your previous pictures. After having written so many teen pictures, have you more or less closed the book on that? The first two scripts uh, that really worked the box office for me were at all things, Mr. Mama Vacation. I didn't sit down and say, well, I'm going to do a series of teen films and I'll return to adult material. The reason I wrote Breakfast Club was because I wanted to do something that was very small. That's, you know, I figured if, if it didn't cost anything, they'd let me direct it. So I said, well, I'll make a movie in one room. I'll only have to build one room and we'll never have to leave and we can eat there and everything. I thought, well, how can you put five people in a room besides a jury? And I came up with uh, high school detention. So it was just sort of accidental. Uh, I have no plans to really abandon it. I don't know what I'm going to write next. What was it like to work with the older generation for the first time? <laughs> People that are over 25. <laughs> uh, I didn't have to ask their mother if I could get one more close-up. That's part of it. Uh, we were able to play poker between takes, so that was, that was kind of fun. They actually taught me how. Well, we ob obviously, we had nothing to talk about. We would come in, we'd be talking about books and literature, and he'd be talking about <laughs> video games and <laughs> new cars. You know, we just couldn't even talk. Was it difficult keeping these two guys on script? No. You know, I didn't have to come in and say, no, do it as written. Neil, I need your address so I can send you the money for the ticket. The ticket's a gift. Oh, we always, you know, every take was a little bit different, you know? Yeah. There's no point in doing the same take over and over and over. Before we started anything, we all just had a little conference about whether or not we could make it Rehearsal, funnier. Make it play, see if it, you know, what, what worked, what didn't. He's not one of those guys who thinks that uh, movies are just something that people write. I mean, there are some people who think that, you know, even with respect to actors and directors, that once your script is finished, that's the thing. And it, you know, you, it stands up like a Frankenstein monster and walks on its own. He certainly knows that a movie is made up of a lot of different parts. We shot more film on that film, I think, than on any movie I've ever done. John was smart. He would let scenes unfold, and he would just let the camera run. And if you let those two talents do what they do best, he's going to get what he wants. Anyway, it's uh, been interesting. <laughs> That's the understatement of the year. If the emphasis was on the acting, getting the characters, and staying in character, and shooting out of continuity over long periods of time in different cities. So it was just it was a matter of, just, you get the character right, you'll get the reality, you'll get the comedy, and everything else will follow. You know, he's a very pleasant guy to work for. When somebody says, you want to go do a couple days on a John Hughes picture, it sounds like a good idea, to me, anyway. I find it very rewarding working with him. We really think alike in terms of our ideas about uh, movie making, and, and certainly his ideas about acting are, uh, are really, really helpful. He really says the right things at the right time, and he works in a way that is uh, really unique and yet incredibly rewarding. When I think of John's films, they're really more about the struggle of, of for the kids' movies of growing up and all the pains that one goes through. And I think the same thing with Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. Here is two sad people in their own way who then rely on each other to get out of themselves. And the films that he makes, they're not sort of Hollywood fantasy films. They're about real things. A heightened yeah. comedy sense, but I think that that was what was so successful about him, was that he took everyday events and sort of raised them to a comedic level, but they were grounded in something that was really real and touching, and that's why they were so effective.